Hi everybody, welcome to technology class. Today we are going to continue learning about digital citizenship and when to pause and think online. Our information comes from Common Sense Education and they are wonderful in giving us good advice. I hope everyone is well and you are enjoying the day. It looks like it's quite windy as I look outside my window. I think that there's going to be a storm this afternoon. I hope that all of you stay safe and there's no damage from this wind that is just gusting through right now. Okay, so let's get started on lesson three of digital citizenship. We've talked about this a little bit last week. How can we be safe? responsible and respectful online. Last week, we focused on the safety. We talked about how we visit safe places. We play in safe locations. Safe sites are those that our parents or our teachers have checked out and made sure that they are safe for us and appropriate for us to work on. Today, we're gonna to be talking about responsible, how we can be responsible online. Being responsible means that you're doing the right thing and making sure that you are working in an appropriate manner. So let's review our vocabulary. The first vocabulary word that we learned was online. And online means that we're using a computer, a phone, or a tablet to visit a website or an app. The second word was pause. To pause means to stop what you're doing or saying. Not only do you stop what you're doing or saying, but then you think about what consequences there will be if you do or say something at that time. You need to consider the consequences before you act. So when we're talking about responsibility, a lot of the responsibility that we need to make sure that we are taking privacy seriously. Okay. So you don't want to share things online with people that are strangers. So we need to understand what is private and what is not. So let's define the word private. Private is something that you should keep to yourself. It's like a secret. It's something that belongs to you and you should not share with other people. An example of that is a password. What kinds of information should I keep to myself when I use the internet? This is anything personal that can identify you. You don't want be able, people to be able to find you on the, from the information you give on the internet because that can make you unsafe. So the kinds of information that you don't want to share or anything that can identify you from everyone else. You don't want to use your name, use a, a username instead or a um, alias so that you can keep private. You don't share things like your address, your phone number, um, description of you, your parents' names, uh, your telephone number, the school you go to. You want to keep that information, especially if you're playing games or chatting with someone. That's when the information can be used in a negative way. So the kinds of things that you don't tell a stranger, if you were walking down the street and a stranger approached you and asked you where you live, you wouldn't answer with the address. You would walk away politely and find a trusted adult, a parent or a neighbor to help you because you don't want to give strangers that kind of information. It's the same thing online. If you wouldn't tell somebody that information, then you wouldn't put it online either. The reason you shouldn't share your username or password with other people as far as websites go is because that information is private and everything on that site that you have put there is yours. It's like when you go to your site 
and you have logged in, say Google Classroom, we all have Google Classroom, we all use a username and password in order to get into Google Classroom. All of the material in there is yours. It's information that your teachers have given you in order to help you learn. Also, it's your work, things that you have made, your writing, your math, whatever it might be. It's your work and it belongs to you. When you log into that, you're like, it's like you're going through the front door of your house. You're unlocking the door and going in and getting your stuff. When you leave the house, you lock the door so no one else can get it. That's exactly the same thing on a website. You enter with your username and password, that's your key. And then when you leave, you sign out so that you can lock your door again so that nobody else gets your stuff. That's why you don't share your username and password with people because you don't want people to get your stuff. Right now, it's just your schoolwork. However, later on, you're going to be banking, maybe having money in your account, and you don't want other people to get your money. No matter what it is, you want to keep it safe so you don't share your username and password with anybody else. Private information includes your name, address, birthday, and phone number. Now, there are times when this information has to be given online, but this is something that your parents need to know or your teachers. They will take care of that for you. Don't you put that information in yourself. And we're back to pause and think online our song. And this helps us remember what we are doing and what we need to do. I just think it's a cute song also. So you can listen to this again. I'm going to play it through to the end of the video, or you could stop here. Once you have finished watching this video, I would like you to complete the Google form that is attached to this assignment. Once you submit the form, please click the done button on the Google assignment and you will be all done for this week. I hope you all have a good week and use your head when you're online, most especially your mind. Think about the things you see, ask good questions, that's the key. Use your arms when you're online to take a break and balance time and leave your tech behind when you find yourself a tree to climb. Put your head down to your toes, pause, think about it, from your feet up to your nose. Online. Use your gut when you're online. Pay attention to its signs. Know when it's safe to play. Make good choices every day. Use your legs when you're online. Stand up to bullies across the line. You can help friends big or small. Just lend an ear and stand up tall. From your head down to your toes. Pause, think about it. From your feet up to your nose. Pause and think online your feet when you're online think about the tracks you leave behind privacy's the way to go don't share with people you don't know use your heart when you're online always do what's right and kind by showing friends respect and being nice on the internet so think with your head balance with your arms listen to your gut stand up with your legs tracks with your feet and feel with your heart.